Today I'm going to show you how to share a document from your Google Drive. If you're in Google Classroom, you're going to want to hit this little folder icon, whether you're in Block 1 or Block 4. That'll bring you to the folder that's been created for this class automatically when you enrolled. From there, you are going to press what uh, New. Um, you can choose either a Google document or a Google Slides presentation. Uh, the process works the same for either one of those. You may want to sh share both of those things with me as you continue working on your project. So I'm going to click on New, and I'm going to click for this uh, demonstration, Google document. When the first thing I'm going to get in the habit of doing, and I want you to do the same, is always make sure that you title and subject your document. Right up here where it says untitled document, you want to click on that on that area, um, and then you'll then be given the option of erasing the text here and putting things into your uh, document. So I'm going to put Mr. Vitali, and I'm going to say that this is about George Washington. From there, I can type, I can do anything that I need to. I can edit my slides um, if it's a slides presentation. And you're then going to go up to where it says share. Uh, you'll notice that the document is not shared with anyone because there's a little lock next to it. When you click on the share button, a secondary window will open up and you can... Um, I actually did that already, sorry. Um, okay, then you're going to enter... This is the, the box that you need to have here. And you're going to type in the last name. Okay. Um, and then hit send. And you'll know that the document is shared when you see uh, the little two people icon up here next to the share button. You do not need to reshare it every time you make changes. The document's automatically shared with me and it's in my share folder. The reason why I need you to title and subject the document is so I know who sent me the document and what is the subject of that document. So when you tell me that you need me to read something and edit, I know where to find it when it's in my share folder. And uh, of course, if you have any questions at all, uh, please see me in class.